I go to my little art program right here. I press record. It starts capturing the screen. I, my voice is recorded right here on this microphone. And, uh, you know, I'll just start talking. No editing, just straight train of thought, but hopefully it's a structured train of thought and hopefully it, it's, it's, it's legible. <laughs> The times where I do find myself having to stop a video and redo a video is when I feel like I lost my train of thought. You know, if all of a sudden, you know, the bird outside starts squawking, I'm like, why is that crow out there? Then I'm like, what was I doing? And then I'm like, oh, this is gonna be useless to people because I'm not gonna edit it. Even editing, you're gonna lose the flow and the naturalness of, of, of what I was doing. And so I'll just stop it and I'll, I'll, I'll redo it again. I, I sometimes got in trouble saying, yeah, you know, I just recorded the video and they're like, people are like, oh my God, this is so important. How come you're not, I was like, no, no, I prepare a lot. But the preparation is preparing your brain. Once your brain has it down, then you should speak from the heart. Similarly, a jazz musician, it's not like they just showed up one day and picked up a bass or, you know, and just started playing. They've been practicing their entire life so that kind of the music is in them and then they can kind of express themselves through it. So I don't want to, you know, draw too many parallels with jazz, although I like that parallel, uh, but I'm virtual through the video. So it'll never be quite the same thing as being with a human being. But I think all of us can relate. The, 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 the times we've learned the most is when we felt a human connection. We felt connected with the content. And so this is what we're trying to do in, in, in this form factor in a way that everyone can reach it.